Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. All right, I'm continuing to kind of catch up on the backlog of indie patterns that were released uh, over the summer. I recently posted the all the indie patterns from June, so today we're gonna cover July. And again, huge shout out to Helen's Closet. She covers all the indie pattern releases every single week on her blog in her series called Wednesday Weekly. So we are going to find the first one from July, which I believe is this, yep. Um, and see what was released that week and get some thoughts on it. All right, so we've got, it looks like, oh, and, oh, okay, Closet Case Patterns entire Rome collection is also included, um, but there's an error. Oh, Lord, let's see. This happened the last time. Here we go, discover patterns. Look how cute her dogs are. Okay, perfect. That is queued up. All right, let's check out this Wilder gown by Friday Pattern Company. It says, the Wilder gown is a loose, flowy, tiered dress that, has, that can be sewn up in a bunch of different ways. It has raglan sleeves and ties at the neck. It's easy to sew and perfect for drapey woven fabrics. The Wilder gown can be made as a top or dress, long or short sleeve with one skirt tier or two. The design is fairly modular, so it's easy to customize. A modular pattern, that's fun. Size is extra small to 4X, designed for woven fabrics and easy to sew. Okay, perfect. Well, it also has this little neckline ruffle detail, which is interesting. And when sewn in this like gauzy fabric, I'm getting kind of nightgown vibes. Um, we'll come back to that at the end. Let's look at some more of these photos. It would be a really sweet nightgown. <laughs> you know, oh, look how beautiful that picture is. Okay, so here are our versions. We've got, wow, that's interesting. Okay, so it's not, you know, you would think it's modular in that you just remove the tiers for different lengths, but no, it looks like the there's three different bodices. There's an empire waist bodice, a natural waist bodice, and then a bodice that goes all the way down to your hip. That's really interesting. And I also like the two sleeve options. Yeah, you could really mix and match to make a ton of different stuff here. Um, here's the size chart, finished garment measurements for bust, hips, your sleeve inseam, bicep. I mean, they really cover it all here. So that's really great. The 4X goes up to a 54 inch bust and a 57 inch hip. So very size inclusive there. I don't know that this uh, sample that was sewn is the best way to sell the pattern, but the line drawings give me a lot of hope. And then here's all your yardage requirements. So dress and shirt and what you'd need there. For fabrics, drapey rayon or silk will give it a more elegant dressy look with more sturdy fabric like a linen will give it a structured everyday dress. Be creative and daring with fabric. Cotton voile, rayon chalet or chiffon are also recommended. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Again, I really like that neckline. All right, here's the Rome collection by Closet Case Patterns. Um, let's just, I don't think they're different. I think there's just ways to buy them. Um, okay. So all three patterns from Rome collection are included in this online course. That's really fun. Uh, part of our Rome collection, the Fiore skirt is a chic high-waisted A-line skirt with just the right amount of flair and volume, beginner friendly pattern with multiple variations, elevated basic. I like an elevated basic available in above or below knee links. Three views. View A is a simple flared skirt with an invisible zipper. View B is asymmetrical wrap skirt with a single hip pocket. And view C buttons up the front with curved patch pockets. Okay, let's check these out. So this must be B with a single pocket. 
that's kind of cool, you know, because if I think about it, I really only am ever using one pocket at a time. I usually don't put my hands in my pockets. So that's, you know, still practical, even if it is a little odd. <laughs> um, is this not going to let, is this isn't working? Oh, there we go. There it is again. I like the shape of the skirt a lot. The high-waisted aspect of it is fine. It actually probably is easier to fit if I'm being 100% honest. There's the back, really pretty. I guess it's a true wrap in that it buttons on the inside somewhere over here. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, in a bold color. This must be like a, I don't know, maybe a wall or something. Slightly see-through. Again, the shape is really cute. Okay, here's the button front one. This one has both the pockets. I don't, ah, I don't love patch pockets that are top stitched down, mostly because it's just very difficult for it to look right. You can see there's a little the tiniest sewing error here and I'm being incredibly nitpicky. Like I'm sure we would all be thrilled if ours turned out this good, but it's just very difficult to do that perfectly. Um, and they're not attached at the waistband either. Let's see if there's more pictures of them. Pretty. Yeah. So you can see it's just top stitched down like a patch pocket and never really meets the, um, waistband so yeah I don't, and they kind of look a little what is it narrow not deep <clears throat> oh that's a much better picture of them yeah it's just tough to get that little baby hem done right in the top stitching cute so this is the one with the back zipper well yeah, elevated basic, I would say. I like how there's three, I guess that's a longer version of the plain one. I like how there's three distinctly different looking skirts from one pattern. Um, that's really cool. You could definitely make all three of these and no one would ever know they were the same pattern. So that's cool. Um, how, is there an easy way to see the rest of the collection? No. That's annoying. Okay. Next up, we have the Cielo, or I guess there was, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. There's the Cielo top and dress pattern. Uh, easy breezy take on the boxy tee and shift dress, loaded with interesting details and interchangeable features. It will fast become a wardrobe building favorite. Choose between a semi cropped top with cuffed short sleeve, dramatic long sleeve or make an easy fitting dress with sleek inseam pockets or without pockets. All views have slightly dropped shoulder, angled shoulder yoke and roomy fit with a choice between elegant bias binding or faced neckline finish. I love having options. Okay, so this is cute how there's a little seam here and then there's little inseam pockets. I love that detail because you know, I'm such a stickler for the side seam pockets and they have the bags just like flop around in there. But this one, with the help of gravity, <laughs> um, I would think that they would still, you know, be flattering, not lumpy and bumpy underneath your clothes or underneath your, the main part of your dress. This is the slightly dropped shoulder. I like that for like a little relaxed fit and the little cuffed short sleeve. This looks like bias binding, nice big hem. That's cute. Very cute. I'm not, you know, these styles of like shift dresses, I'm not 100% convinced that these look, I don't know. I just don't know about myself in like a pear shape in dresses like this uh, because, you know, because this is oversized, and then my hips are already so much larger than my shoulders. I just feel like it makes me look bigger than I am. Um, there's a side view, beautiful fit here. 
you know, I feel like if I were going to make it myself, I'd have to incorporate, I'd have to like grade out or something. And then would I just be making it A-line instead of rectangular, you know? But I do love this idea. Oh, and this little dart here is nice. So maybe it would be a little bit more fitted on the top than I'm giving it credit for. Here's the crop top, cute. Maybe a little bit big on her. I like that fabric though a lot. And is this, what is this? This is with a na, 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 na. semi cropped with a cuffed short sleeve or dramatic gathered long sleeve. So is this the same as this one? Are these two girls wearing this, the same detail, the same pattern? Uh, I'm not sure. Hers seems a little bit longer. Right? Or maybe that's the crop top. I don't know. Oh, look at this. That's really pretty. So yeah, there are a lot of, um, like she says, interesting details built in. Okay, here's the dramatic long sleeve. Eh. And with the um, gathers, maybe pleats, I can't tell, at the shoulder seam. I don't know. I don't love when it's like smooth and then there's a bump here. That just, it looks like it doesn't fit. It looks too big, you know, because the reason why you would have gathers there is to fit the ball of your shoulder in this area. So when you do that on a drop shoulder, to me, it kind of is just like, I don't know, it looks ill-fitting. There's the back. See what I mean? Like, don't you want to just like pull this up on her shoulder so that this part is on the ball of her shoulder? I mean. Ooh, the dress is cute. The dress with the sleeve is much better, but still I want to yank that on up. And that's an easy enough alteration to make, but you know. Now, so she has obviously more of an hourglass figure. Well, I'm assuming, I don't really know what's underneath here, but like a larger bust <clears throat> and it doesn't look too big on her. I don't think it makes her, I don't think it's unflattering on her at all. Um, so maybe I'm overthinking the little shift dresses. They can just be so hit or miss for me personally, you know? All right. So that is the Cielo. And next are the Pietra, I believe. Yeah, Pietra pants, which are right here. All right, so we've got best of both worlds, flat front, high-waisted, comfort of an elastic waist in the back, featuring lengthened panels in the front with slanted hip pockets and hidden waist stay. You'll never want to take them off. Choose between four leg styles, wide leg and floor skimming or crop length, a slim and tapered leg or gently flared shorts. Wow. A lot going on in one pattern again. Okay, so like they said, high-waisted. There's like not a waistband. Oh, what are waist stays? Waist stay. Isn't it like that? Isn't that like that ribbon detail on the inside? I wonder if they'll show us a picture. Here's the elastic in the back. And very flattering back, considering there's an elasticized waistband and it's higher. Sometimes these can start to look a little diapery, but I think it looks really good on her. Yeah, so you can see, like, maybe there's a facing in there and the stay is built into that somehow. I don't know. Okay. Slim leg. I actually don't prefer the slim leg. Let's see. I mean, more diapery, <laughs> but still not as bad as I've seen before. 
And then here's the floor length. I don't know, guys. I think I might kind of like these. I do like elastic in the back of a waist. This leg shape is just so nice. It's like the perfect amount of width, I think. This could be further to the front, you know, more room in the back. <clears throat> yeah, cute. And I love it how they paired it with this like silky version of that top. And then here's the shorts, very retro. I'm getting like Mrs. Maisel vibes all the way on this and I'm fine with that. I love the costumes on that show. Maybe a little bit too uh, much room back here, too much fabric in the crotch curve. The top stitching details are nice. Yeah, I don't know. I could see myself making these. Ah, oh, Seersucker, of course. That is such a cute outfit. Adorable. Yeah, definitely something happening with the shape of the crotch curve here. Let's see if we get more. No, okay. And there it is in just chambray with the slim leg again. That crotch curve looks a lot better. I don't know, you guys. I think I'm going to go on Instagram after this and look at some versions that some other people have made and make a decision, but I kind of really like those. I know she has such expensive <laughs> patterns, but, I mean, what can you do? All right, let's see what happened on in the second week of June. Yes, this week here. All right, we have a ton. Okay, so Seamwork comes out at the beginning of every month. So they have two patterns. I want to say it's $8. I also have a coupon code uh, for you. So if you're interested in the Clark Top or the Miller Shorts, be sure to check the description box um for the link that you can use to get a little itty bitty discount um okay let's see what it looked like no i don't want your planner all about the clark top <coughs> okay make the most of your fabric stash oh this was their stash busting issue i remember that it can be sewn in both wovens and knits and there's an option to cut it on the bias bra friendly tank finishes with an all-in-one facing which i love and back seams are perfect for color blocking and stash busting. Yeah, I remember seeing this one. I remember, again, getting, like, uh, Willow Tank vibes. But the all-in-one facing is certainly an elevated take on the little tank top. And what else is nice is that um, they give you options for hacking it. So we'll get to that in a second, but V neckline, center front seam, hem finishes at high hip. This pretty back neckline is also really beautiful. Center back seam, trapeze silhouette. And then here's the little croquis, more croquis. And then I guess that's it. So I don't know where this hold on oh here we go pattern hacks for the clerk um all right cool and that includes so a full link trapeze dress they added a uh waist seam and then this one they added a little ruffle at the bottom and this is exactly what i'm always saying about simplicity's pattern hacks is that they're just not varying enough this will give you four, including the top, this gives you four very, in my opinion, distinct looks, especially if you use different fabrics for each one. You know, I don't know that people would immediately assume that you've made four of the same pattern. So that's a lot of fun. Here's the high-low hem dress and how you construct that. And then here's the gather skirt. 
Oh, it's actually an empire bodice, so it's even higher than your natural waist. Yeah, I remember really loving that one when I um, first saw it. Okay, here's the other pattern from that month, the Miller shorts. Uh, Miller shorts are perfect for fabric chameleons since they can be worn and woven or knits and they sew up quickly. A clever elasticized tie secures the paper bag waistband and wide leg openings and inserted pockets make these shorts stylish and comfortable. So here they are in a woven and then this is a knit, like a, I'm guessing like a sweatshirt fleece maybe, maybe French terry. I kind of don't love the chintzy, I don't know, half inch, what, I don't know what, how wide this is, but the elastic's a little on the narrow side. But, um, let's see. So then they also give you instructions on how to turn the shorts into a skirt. So sort of like a hack, but it's really just a bonus pattern piece. So again, woven, uh, some kind of like knit, and then this is like a chambray for the skirt. Yeah, sweatshirt fleece, denim, and then linen rayon. All right, paper bag waistband, elasticized waist tie. And I, I, I know you can just insert wider elastic there if you want. That shouldn't be a reason to deter you from getting the pattern. But as designed, I don't know, it looks a little, a little chintzy or even like two rows of elastic but that's this wide. Inserted pockets, loose leg opening. Oh, there's a little side seam pockets, okay. Well, I think we all know how I feel about that, but you can always, you know, add them, omit them, depending on what fabric you're using. All right, there's our croquis again. All right, cool. Next up is Tasuti Patterns, and they have the Veronica jacket. Perfect. Introducing our latest pattern, the Veronica jacket. This cropped boxy style features extended shoulders, like that's like a drop sleeve, a collar, a peaked hemline at front, center back seam, front shoulder darts, and two-piece bracelet length sleeves. Wow, okay. I love a hand-drawn line drawing. Oh, there you go. You can see it much better in this lighting. Yeah, I like this dart here, and the two-piece sleeves are really nice. And I like the cropped length. Recommended fabrics for this jacket. Oh, because the hems are raw. So non-fraying boiled wools, boiled wool blends, or ponty knits. The Veronica is constructed using overlapped seams, which makes this a super quick, super simple sew. So you can see here really well, the seams are, I've never done this, this overlapped seam technique before. I assume, I don't know how they're constructed to be perfectly honest with you. I can guess, but that would literally be just me guessing. Um, this jacket can be worn or open, can be worn open or secured at the neck with a decorative pin. Well, yeah, very uh, straightforward, sweet little pattern. Uh, no facings, no lining. Interesting. Yeah, very cool. Very simple. This would be a great, like, intro to making little jackets. I love that it has no pockets. <laughs> it's just very simple. Um, and instead of a pin, you could also do a little like hook and bar or like a little button under here if you wanted, if you didn't want something so loud. Okay. Next, we have Forget-Me-Not Patterns, Clementine, Knit Dress, and Top. Cute. Okay. Clementine is a top and dress pattern designed for knit fabrics. It features princess seams, which follow the curves of the body. The top version offers a more tailored look than a basic t-shirt. Agreed. 
while still being incredibly comfy and easy to wear. The dress version finishes just above the knee and flares out below the waist into a swishy full skirt. It also features the option of in seam pockets. Choose from a versatile scoop neck or stylish high cowl neck for a subtle touch of elegance. Three links and an easy sew. All right. All right. It's not letting me make the pictures any bigger. So this is what we've got. Look how pretty. I love that. Very pretty. Cute, simple, it's kind of like a skater style without a waistband. Yeah, those seam lines are really pretty. Did anybody make the cowl? No, there's no cowl version made. That's sad. Right? Yeah. Oh, bummer. I'd hope to see that. But yeah, very nice. And affordable at $13 for an indie pattern, you know. I can't speak to the instructions or anything like that. I've never sewn a forget-me-not pattern before, but um, cute. Very cute. Does it have... So here's the fabrics. Uh, and then skill level and sizing. What did I want to know if it had, oh, so here's a short sleeve is featured on the dress here, but not here. Okay, that's all. All right, Emerald Erin, the black beauty bra pattern. I don't typically cover intimates, so we'll just do a little quick look here and where's the description? The final version of this is very similar to the original. The Black Beauty bra pattern, some of you might remember it from way back in the day. Bra Week Challenge and all the bras I used to design. Well, there was one particular I knew had to be my first underwire pattern. Okay, well, I don't remember that, but... Second view, love to have options. The second view is for lace and who doesn't love some lace? Okay. I mean, hers look very nice and professional. Same seaming and external power bar. I don't really know what that, again, I don't know anything about sewing bras. Um, illustrated instructions, okay. Okay, very good. And then lastly for this week, we have the Primrose Dawn More Lingerie. Okay, high cut underwear. I'm... There you go. <laughs> Lots of options, but again, I don't sew intimates. So let's close out of all of these. And all I'm saying is because I don't sew those things, I don't really know how to speak about the patterns if I've never sewn that type of garment before. So I typically don't <laughs> talk about things where I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, that's why I tend to avoid intimates, children's clothes, uh, vintage costumes are all things that I sort of stray away from in these first impression videos. Okay. We have a whole bunch more patterns. Oh, and some that they missed earlier in the summer. Not sure when, but we'll go ahead and cover them. Screwdriver blouse. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. The Frisco sewing pattern by Threadbare. The Frisco is a two for one. Maximum versatility. View A is modern apron style jumpsuit that features a princess seam bodice and a cropped wide leg pant. The waist is cinched by an elasticized belt that is fastened with a set of D-rings that provides maximum comfort and style with slash pockets. And no closures, making it a beginner friendly project. The pattern is written with beginners in mind. Okay. View B is a square neckline tank top with a functional button placket. Princess seems to provide a comfortable and stylish fit. Two different bust sizes are included. 
Okay, it really is a two for one. All right, let's see. Okay, I can't zoom in on the picture, so all we've got is this, and it's kind of hard to see with that busy pattern. Still hard to see. That's the tank top. I am assuming, wait, is that just like, I think that's actually just contrast fabric. I think this is the jumpsuit using a different fabric for the top than for the bottom, which is such a fun idea. And here you can get a good look at the D-rings and the elastic waistband that they're speaking of. I hope there's more pictures of that. There's the tank top. Cute. Here's another good picture of it. The princess seams are nice. More of those. Yeah, I just, that picture is so whitewashed, I can't see anything. Okay. So, how do you get in? You just step into it? I mean, I get that you loosen the D-ring, but then what? Here's the tank top. And here are some fabric requirements and finished garment measurements. Nice. And there's also a lot of information about positive ease and why that's important. So that's good. Yeah, I just can't figure out how you get in. But I'm sure it's all made perfectly clear once you download the pattern. Okay. We've got the Sew Over It Bonnie blouse and dress. Well, how cute is that? Just darling. The Bonnie blouse is pretty feminine, 1940s inspired, waisted blouse with a touch of glamour. Button up front with vertical pleats and a concealed button placket. I love that construction, so fun. Flat collar, bust starts, and short sleeves with little turn up cuffs. Has a waistband which cinches in at the waist, sweet unbuttoned opening at the front waist. The dress version features an elegant knee-length gathered skirt and easy-to-wear elasticized waist. It, they both can be made without the pleats. Um, then they tell you how to style it. Okay. Let's look at... Are you kidding? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say. Of all people so over it should have figured this part out. Okay, here we go. Cute. It is very retro-y. You know, this would look adorable with those closet case shorts. Am I right? So cute. Darling. Oh, that one's fun. Let me see the dress. Oh, that's adorable. I wonder if they made any samples without the pleats. Look how cute it is without the pleats. Did any of those ha not have pleats? Pleats, pleats, pleats. No pleats. Okay, there you can get an idea of no pleats. That's really nice. Super cute. Okay, body measurements, fabric requirements, and finished garment measurements for the bust and waist. Okay. Yeah, lightweight fabrics. That's really sweet. I don't I can't tell if it's like too retro for my style, but maybe not. Okay, now we have another bra, the Devonshire. So real quick, I'll just show you guys what this thing looks like. Again, I don't even really know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I mean, I wear bras, but I don't know anything about construction or fit or anything like that. Okay, olive jumpsuit brought to you by Untitled Thoughts. Okay, I'm here for this. The green details, I don't know what that means. The olive jumpsuit is a beautiful bridge between the confident beginner and intermediate sewist. It's a casual jumpsuit that offers the dream of wearing secret pajamas on the daily. I love that. The olive is also a great transitional piece that can take you from season to season depending on your fabric and styling choices. Okay, 
Patch pockets, three pant options, wide leg, tapered, and shorts, two open back options, strapless bra friendly and dramatic low back, optional waist tie casing, optional short and pant cuff, drafted for B cup with loads of ease. Many of my testers with larger cup sizes that a, said that a double D cup draft was unnecessary. Well, what did the B cup people feel about that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here are our line drawings. Very cute. Suggested fabrics. Yeah, like your light to midweight wovens. And then <laughs> all of your uh, notions. Okay. Finished garment measurements, full bust, waist, hips, bodice length, inseam, outseam. I mean, there's, yeah, she really provides it all. That was, that's nice. Okay. Oh, look how cute that is. I want to wear that. That looks so comfy. Dramatic low back, but we're having an issue with the lining showing, so meh. <clears throat> These must be some of the testers. Okay. Yeah, kind of poor fabric choice there, but... I mean, she looks to have a, and this is pure speculation, but a, you know, moderate sized uh, bust. And it doesn't look like it, she's swimming in it. I don't really love this design choice, but I've been there, girl, when you're like, I just got to get this done. Let me put something in here. Yeah, I think the more stable wovens, like the linens are going to be better for this. Just the way the shorts are drafted. This is too big right here. But she also did the uh, open back, so. But beautiful sewing here. I'm not sure how this is constructed, but that looks really nice. Okay, here's a petite woman, and it looks good on her right through here. But then again, maybe a little gaping down here. Where's the bra friendly version? Was that the bra friendly version? I think this is the bra friendly version and the other one comes down low. That doesn't seem enough bra friendly to me. I'm still wanting it to be like this, but you could easily redraft that. That's not a problem. Pretty cute. I love when they do this with all the testers. That's so fun and so helpful to see how it looks. This is the back of her version. This is the back of this one. I wish they would have been side by side in the collage, but what can you do? Great representation of how you can wear this in multiple seasons. Love that. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the deep V version, and I'm also not sure about the bra friendly version. I feel like it needs to come up some. And there might be some fit issues here. Um, but it, I mean, it's nothing unlike what you find in Big Four, so it shouldn't be anything that we couldn't tackle. But some of these versions, especially out of the more stable wovens, look amazing. All right, bobbin hood suit. Okay, this is by Bobbin Hood. Like Robin Hood, that's cute. I'd never heard of this designer before. Oh my my, it's finally here, our first pattern. Okay, no wonder I'd never heard of them. As a designer, I've always drafted my own patterns, make them available for a wide range, empower, create a happy resilience against the dark, fast fashion industry. Wow, okay, deep introduction. Um, so... She wanted a coverall uniform. Quick history of the coverall. Wow, okay. You guys can go read all about this. Um, this pattern would take care of all of those things. 
Look at the pictures. Cute. Oh, wow. I love the branding. And you can easily hack it into, I guess, a jacket. Maxi dresses. Okay. Shop our pattern here. Maybe that's where I need to go. Okay, perfect. Coverall, boiler suit, awesome suit, all valid names for this classic style. Okay. Okay, I cannot make the pictures any bigger. So, here we go. So, it looks like a belted cropped version, a full length version without a belt, <laughs> and a shorts version. Or make this into a dress jacket, different hacks on the blog. Uh, I guess those are instructions. Measurements for this pit pattern, hip size is most important, next comes bust. So they give you finished garments for all of that. Yeah, they really break it down for beginners. Okay, that's it for the, for the pictures. Can't, it's hard to see, sorry. All right, next we've got uh, Our Lady of Leisure's wrap shirt beginner sewing pattern ruffle sleeve top. Wow, fancy but super cute. This is kind of an interesting concept for like, instead of a cocktail dress, you know, instead of evening wear even if you wore a top like this with some really chic pants or a maxi skirt or something i don't know i feel like it could look really cool and elevated and different i love those sleeves and then we've got body measurements oh it's called the screwdriver top but it doesn't say that anywhere but okay and then you've got your garment measurements uh, all your different sizes, bust waist hips. That's nice. Thank you. And then these are instructions. Okay. Not too many pictures. Here's one. Cute. She even like really dressed it down. Any other pictures? I'm not seeing them. But look, more boiler suits. Actually, this Lady of Leisure has a ton of patterns out of Australia. Okay, so that was, takes us through half of July. <laughs> there are so many indie patterns. Um, okay, that was that one. So now we've got... This is our last one. Okay, maybe I'd been through more than I realized. <clears throat> okay, we have a tote bag. I'm going to ignore that, but it's free. So if you guys are looking for a little tote that you can use for scraps, be sure to check that one out. All right, the Akinori dress, estuary skirt. Where do they get these names? Okay, let's check it out. So we have the Akinori dress designed by Wardrobe by Me. Okay, this reminds me of a simplicity pattern that I have. Oh, I cannot remember. I certainly don't remember the numbers, but there was like a special designer too. Oh, well. Akinori wrap dress is a kimono inspired dress that hugs the waist with a belt. The elegant yet straightforward dress is designed for lightweight woven fabric, but works equally well in jersey fabric. Okay. I love this little seam detail and like the wrap with the dolman. Cute. Especially how she did it with the stripes, you know, that's really fun. Beautiful. That looks really good on her.
a little busier there. You can really not really tell what's going on. Honestly, I think it looks best on the more full busted um, testers or models. I'm not exactly sure who these people are, but super cute. Oh, well, hers is cute. I don't know. They're kind of all fitting a little bit different from person to person, which I mean, duh, but more so than usual. That's pretty. I think it depends on what's happening in here. Maybe we'll get to some line drawings here shortly. Honestly, though, she looks the best in all of them. <laughs> Maybe it's the way they're being tied. It's like some of them I love and then other ones I'm like, mm, I don't know. Like this one I think is just too big for her. That's fine. And I mean, I love that fabric. Maybe it's the drape of the fabric. I don't know what it is. Are you guys feeling me here or am I kind of on my own? Um, it's like this little sun burst thingy. Depending on like how that, I don't know if it's like particular bodies that have shorter torsos or something. I don't know. It depends on where that hits you. I, I My best guess. I don't know. There's also pleats in here, which look really nice. Probably why it looks so good on the full busted girls. <clears throat> because if you don't have a bust, you really don't need that much pleating. And it just seems like a lot of extra fabric. But. Okay. Next up, estuary skirt from So Liberated. All right. Yeah, I mean... Button front, waistband with patch pockets. We just went over this with another one of the pattern designers. So I feel like this is, isn't this a lot like the seam work? Wait, which one? I can't even remember now. The one where the patch pockets didn't go into the waistband. Same, similar situation here. Their flower crowns are super cute. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, just not my style, like, at all. But sure does look comfortable in all these girls. Okay. Uh, Beginner-friendly, body-friendly skirt pattern that you'll feel like wearing every day of the week. Comes in 0 to 30, comfortable elastic back, sewn with buttonholes or as faux buttonhole free placket. That's kind of cool. Makes this skirt a great project for all levels. And then some styling um, suggestions. All right, Chalk and Notch has the Victory Tank. Uh, swing shape. With two views, view A has a simple scoop front neckline and finishes mid-hip. View B has V-shaped straps on the front neckline and a V-shaped cutout in the back with a cropped length. Both views are fully aligned and interchangeable. Again, another one of those Willow Tank-esque. Um, this one claims to have some different options, so let's see. Okay, here it is with the kind of V-detailing. And that's the back cutout. I mean, yeah, that is cute and kind of like a different take on the basic tank. So, okay, fine. I'll give it to them. It does seem to fit <laughs> to fit well. Mm. 
right, all right. She looks cute. Look at all these young girls they got to model for them. That's fun. Okay, back to the beginning. Um, test her inspiration. You know I love that part. Cute. Here are all the versions. Everyone's pretty much wearing it with skinny jeans or some kind of denim. Oh, This one's pretty. Cute. I don't know. I don't, I'm on the fence about this. And if I don't like that part, look, she made hers into a dress. So she'll mash up. Um, and if I don't like that V, see, I like it on some people and then other people I don't. But if I don't like the V, then I don't really need this pattern. She made multiples. This one's really nice. I'm liking it more in the like silky types fabrics. Avocados. Is there a dress version or are all these people just like hacking this pattern on their own? Hmm, okay. Oops. <clears throat> I don't remember seeing a dress. No, yeah, they hacked it. That's cool. All right, here are body measurements versus our garment measurements. And there's also cup sizes. There's A, B, and C, D, and then zero to 24. Okay, Meg dress from Athena Cacao, Cacao, Cacao. Um, Meg is, an um, is a comfortable, elegant, loose fitting dress and top designed for woven fabrics and without zips or set in sleeves. It's quick sew, perfect for beginners. Yeah, it really is. Okay, so we've got a dolman sleeve, a little bust dart, and a little waist tie, pretty much, in two lengths. I'm assuming I can't, yeah, okay. So we gotta do the pictures one by one. Yeah, very beginner friendly, and honestly, I find with these patterns that if you buy a fabric that is pretty you're gonna get a ton of compliments on your garment uh simply because like when it's such as a basic design like the fabric can really stand out you know like this version here looks very elegant and expensive but it's the exact same as, you know, this one. Not that this isn't elegant, but it's a little more basic, you know? I also wanted to show the gingham, because hello. You don't have to worry about pattern matching or any of that, which is really nice. I love it with her yellow pants. All right, here's our line drawings. Yep. And then here's our dress line drawings? Nope. Here's our dress line drawings. Yeah, very simple sew. If you guys did my um, sew along earlier this year for beginners, you can do this for sure. All right, fun. And then the iconic bomber Oh, I'm so disappointed already because I'm dying, desperate for a bomber jacket that has a button placket. Come on, like, you would think that that would be so easy to find, but even Big Four, all the indies, nobody has it. I have to just hack it myself, which is like, oh, I don't want to think that hard. <laughs> okay, so this is Worthy Design Studios' iconic bomber. All proceeds donated to the ARC Cancer Support. Okay. PDF sewing pattern, yes, obviously, one size only, <laughs> intermediate, 
one size only, this jacket will fit up to about a lady's size 18 or men's 44. Well, that's interesting. An intermediate level of sewing is recommended, but you'll never improve your skills if you don't dive in and give it a bash, right? Designed in collaboration with Jill and Gill as part of their latest apparel range. The iconic bomber is inspired by Japanese artist Yayoi Kusama. Gathered back hem, the front has bust starts, welt pockets, and an interesting sleeve panel. Welt pockets. Let's see the back. Thank you. Oh. Oh, and a big circle in the middle. Yeah, this is very, um, oh, not trendy. Uh, just very stylized. Very specific. So I don't think you're making this. It's like art, you know what I mean? It's really kind of cool the more you look at it. Even like the um, longer length is like growing on me. In these earlier ones, I was like, I want it to be shorter. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, no, it's kind of cool where it is. Huh, interesting. Expensive. All right, I think that that is it. Let me go back and make sure I got them all from July. Let's see, July 24th. We just did that one. We saw this, we saw this, we saw this. Okay, that's it. That's all of July's um, indie patterns. Let me know what you guys are thinking now that we are two months deep into this as part of the first impression series. What are you thinking about these indie patterns? We are noticing some kind of repeats, a lot of basics, a lot of beginner friendly stuff. I mean, how much can the industry really support of patterns kind of like that? Um, so yeah, just let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or appreciated it or were entertained by it in any way. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch more, um, first impression pattern reviews coming your way as the seasons are changing. So if you liked this video, I promise you will like others as well. But <laughs> that's going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.